Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist, and after doing an add-on kit for Fall of Cybertron Grimlock, Iron Factory kicked a door down and got in on the unofficial pocket-scale transforming robot scene, alongside DX9's Warren Pocket Series debut. This set is called the Weapon Defense Squad, Turrets and Manacle. It has layers of stuff to go through, so let's start off with the easiest thing to describe. Manacle is a slammer stand-in, and his alt mode is a brickish white tank. The sculpt mixes the shapes of G1 Slammer with the futuristic front headlights and greeble of a Fall of Cybertron design, and I like it. There's a decent amount of paint, including a valiant attempt to get a clean white coat onto the side paneling, which unfortunately doesn't quite match the bare white plastic of the front, rear, and turret chunks. There are no wheels on this guy, but he does have tread sculpting all over his underside, and his turret can adjust in both the X and Y axes. There are also six 5mm ports on this little treaded defender, and the turret can peel apart to switch up the port placements even further. This will all make sense very soon. Oh, there's also a very recessed peg that you can flip out of the frontal underbelly of Manacle's tank mode. This is entirely to let him attach to Generations Metroplex, if you aren't content to just stuff him into a cavity somewhere. Turrets is the name of these two twin barrel cannons, which have got 5mm pegs and ports all over the place. That, along with the separating twin black barrel pieces, allow for some customized gun moding if you aren't happy with his basic formations. Or, you know, you could get into these things. These two gun pods are, up front, meant to peg onto Metroplex and look threatening. But check it out, they each bust apart into a shield, a handgun, two missile pods, and two shotguns. So that's two shields, two handguns, four missile pods, and four friggin' shotguns included in the set. Also, many of the weapons have multiple pegs and ports. Turrets and Manacle are also covered in pegs and ports. It's all 5mm, making it compatible with tons of modern Transformers figures. I'm just gonna say all of this and avoid showing a lot, because I'd kinda like this review to stay focused on what comes in the box more than anything else. But you're picking up what I'm putting down, right? Manacle has got one of those strong Cyberverse Commander or late-era Scout-class Transformer transformations. Everything has one big satisfying motion to do, with just enough simplicity to let me breeze through the process at a specific and lovely pace. Also, if you just slightly halfway unpeg his turret, Manacle's waist rotation evades any outright parts forming. It's a darn fine conversion. So you see this, right? This perfect recipe of stump and chunk and squat and beef. This husky little powerhouse silhouette topped off with a perfectly flattened and visored and face-plated head. My one and only complaint is that I'd like to have seen the jutting panels on his forearms and the jutting tread panels on his shoulders fold in to complete the Man of Boxes motif. But hey, he wears that stuff pretty damn well. Manacle's tank turret is his main built-in weapon, splitting into a shield and artillery lance in its most interesting configuration. Remember, you can play around with this stuff as much as you'd like thanks to all the 5mm ports. Speaking of which, check out what happens when you leave me alone with Manacle and the included gun pod weapon packs. I've seen some creative contained builds with this stuff. Uncork your brain and let it all just gush out onto the palette of militarized creativity, man! And while you do that, I'll transform turrets. Unplug the two long black cannons and you are already almost a quarter of the way through getting to turret's robot mode. The lower half unfurls its legs, the upper half folds open its arms and folds up its twin barrels, and then you just have to smack the two together. Blam! It's turret's time! Also, feel free to attach the two big black guns if you want everything to stay contained. If you had told me earlier last year that I'd straight up fall in love with a pocket-scaled six-gun, I'd... I'd probably be interested and not call you a liar, but the point I'm trying to make is that I didn't know this was the six gun for me until I held him in my hands. Turrets is adorable, slightly slimmer than Manacle, but still chunky enough to look like he can lift, bro. Where Manacle had free reign and the fact that the original Slammer never had a robot mode, Turrets gets across a very characterful essence of the imagery of six gun, packed into a solid and satisfying silhouette. He's also got a respectable amount of paintwork, adding lots of silver, a little dark crimson, and a single yellow nipple to a body that could have probably gotten by on almost no paint at all. And like, look at these two next to each other. And now look at them alongside Generation Scamper. They are a team! There is personality and camaraderie and history between these guys, the trio that run the workings and defenses of the big city Metroplex. None of it's written, there aren't even many pictures on the box, 
but a story coalesced before me through handling these guys within minutes. The only thing left to answer is whether or not turrets and manacle are posable enough to realize such visions. We're gonna start off with turrets as far as the posability section. So uh, let's take a look at this little dude. He's got ball joints, as you can see. He's got a little ball jointed neck with a great range for such a tiny ball joint. He's also got ball jointed shoulders with a great range for, well, I mean, like, these are not tiny ball joints. You can see there's a cutout up there. It's, it's, it's got a little bit of this, though, which I like a lot. Uh, there's a ball jointed elbow, which also functions as a bicep swivel. Nothing on the wrist, nothing on the waist either, because that happens. Um, I am not sure if it would have been feasible to see a waist joint fit into here. I think that putting the uh, the gun handle in there kind of superseded it, uh, if that is the correct terminology. But there is a ball jointed hip with a great range and a dedicated mushroom peg thigh swivel, which at this scale made me so happy when I first opened these guys up. And then, he's only got one knee hinge, but because of the transformation, it can function as a double-jointed knee, since the backs of his legs are hollow. And that's great. And he's sculpted in a nice, strong A stance. This little dude looks cool when he's, uh, when he's standing around and, and doing action stuff. And so does Manacle, because holy crap, his little ball-jointed head, also for what is a flat little thing in a recess, it's got a load of posability uh, and a ton of range on the ball socket joint. I really dig that. Uh, he's also got great shoulder ball joints, and uh, these little panels can get out of the way if, uh, if they are going to bump into his uh, torso bulk. Ball jointed elbows make for that built-in bicep swivel kind of deal. He's also got a little bit of this going on. Uh, a little bit of... Hey, hey. Don't take the focus, turrets! A little bit of this going on. Uh, again, no wrists, but he does have a waist joint. And that's great on a guy that's like bulky like this because every turn of the waist, this whole thing is turning and you're getting all this emotion out of it. It's lovely. Uh, ball jointed hips and then again a mushroom peg dedicated thigh swivel and he's got just enough cavity on the backs of his shins to also make use of his transformation to have somewhat double jointed looking uh, knees despite them being a single hinge joint and he's got the somewhat the semi sculpted a stance as well These dudes are a joy to pose and for something, you know pocket scale. These were the ones that For how bulky they are uh, Getting these like right after uh, Gartanel and Speedu like that that like just got my interest in small-scale unofficial stuff jumped way up and I think these dudes are 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 it as far as what got me settled on on this kind of scale uh, from unofficial companies because they cram real smart simple design together in here and uh, and it, it plays so well especially with all this stuff and all the five millimeter ports uh, on them uh, it 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 feels good to mess with it feels like toys uh, but it's it's crafted uh, with some very specific tensions and whatnot that, at least on these two, uh, were, were an enormously good opening start for Iron Factory's first full figures. Also, with these gun pods and the way they can break apart with the way that turrets breaks into two guns and he's got two more guns on his shoulders and they are covered in all this, like, dead solid 5mm port compatibility. If you take these guys, you can really smush them together into something cool, like just mash them up a bit and... So once uh, you build this little configuration I invented, you've got you've got Manacle here as the main dude, but then he's got turrets as like a cannon. He's got his own cannon as a cannon. Uh, he's got another part of turrets as a backpack, and then the gun pods are just like they're kind of like a jetpack that are powered. It's jetpack powered by shotguns, but then there's also shotguns all like SDF one style over his head, and he's got. He's got them beefing out his two cannons as well, and then he's got rockets on his boots, because why wouldn't you? So this is kind of the fun you can have with just this set alone. It's it's uh, it's kind of like, I mean, it's just 5mm ports. It's the same kind of play pattern I was talking about back when I covered the B-Mogs. Uh, and it, it, these are toys, like this. these two guys and the stuff they come with, it's all really well built for this play pattern. There's a lot of pegs, a lot of peg holes, and you can get creative, like... Iron Factory themselves have posted some real creative builds on their own Facebook page and whatnot in their galleries where they built like wings out of shotguns and stuff. So it's kind of cool that uh, you can have this sort of fun uh, just with this set alone. This set sounded like a Generations Metroplex add-on kit on paper, but you may have noticed how that giant figure is barely in my footage. That's because the contained play value of turrets, manacle, and their dual gun pod accessory sets is friggin' titanic. 
Like, I was absolutely not expecting a three-way fusion of solidly built pocket-scale transforming robots, a legitimate whack of accessories, and a borderline construction play patterns worth of 5mm pegs and ports. The bang for your buck in this package is thick and meaty, and enormously worth your time if you dig the chunky aesthetic of the robots within. This was one of my favorite surprises of 2014 by far, and I'd highly recommend it. Unless you are simply unable to engage with the gun pods and what they bring to the table. If you're actually thinking of leaving those in the box, know that you are tossing a solid third of why you should be considering this as a pickup. I love turrets and manacle, but at around 55 bucks, the gun pod assemblies are less a bonus and more a notable part of the cost. If turrets had a bit more to his transformation, I think it might have been another story. So take a moment to consider whether or not you'll have fun with these the same way I had fun with these. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist, and I hope I've conveyed the sheer desk-side joy that turrets and manacle have brought me. This was just the tip of the iceberg for Iron Factory, though, so get ready for more hot metal pocket-sized beats in the future.